the surface of the earth is covered by rocks and water bodies. But what about the inside of the earth? If we were to take a look at the earth's interior, we would see that the earth consists of four layers. They are the crust, the mantle, the outer core and the inner core. The crust is the outermost layer of the earth. It consists of various landforms like mountains, plateaus, volcanoes, etc. The crust also consists of numerous rock plates. The shifting of these plates resulted in the formation of continents. In reality, the crust of the earth is a very thin layer. It is only 50 kilometers deep. The crust floats on top of the outer layers of the earth. The oceanic crust is thinner than the continental crust. The mantle forms the main mass of the earth. It is the layer just under the crust. It extends from Moho's discontinuity to a depth of about 2,900 kilometers. The mantle is a partly molten layer and can have temperatures reaching to 4,000 degrees Celsius. The upper layer of the mantle is called the ethanosphere. The hot magma from the ethanosphere travels to the surface of the earth and escapes as lava from volcanoes. In addition to the ethanosphere, there is a layer known as lithosphere. The crust and the uppermost layer of the mantle together form the lithosphere. While the ethanosphere has a depth of 400 kilometers, the lithosphere extends from 10 to 200 kilometers. The next layer of the earth is the outer core. This layer is exceedingly hot. It has a temperature of about 5000 degrees Celsius. The outer core consists mainly of liquid iron. It has a depth of 2,200 kilometers. The core mantle boundary is located at 2,900 kilometers below the surface of the earth. We now come to the innermost layer of the earth, the inner core. The inner core has a temperature of around 6,000 degrees Celsius. This is nearly the temperature of the sun's surface. The inner core has a depth of 1,250 kilometers. Unlike the outer core, the inner core is in solid state. The intense pressure of the layers of the earth ensures that the inner core remains solid in nature. Deep within the core of the earth, there are radioactive elements such as uranium. These elements give off heat when they decay. This slows down the rate at which the earth is cooling. But the core also has a very important function. It is responsible for the magnetic field of the earth. The magnetic field is generated in the inner core and the convections within the outer core result in the creation of magnetic fields. This magnetic field is what protects us from solar winds and high energy particles of the sun. The four layers of the earth all have special functions. Now you know what the earth looks like on both the inside and the outside.